All right, uh, we talked about protests happening all around the country. Probably the biggest, or at least the, the more most widely uh, based protest is this fight for the minimum wage. This was in New York City earlier outside a uh, McDonald's, but it's happening and being replayed in 300 cities across the country. Uh, a push right now to raise the minimum wage to $15. It's already going to happen in California. It's happening in cities like Seattle, elsewhere, uh, and they want to see this follow along with a, a million student march, round two, I guess, pushing. Free college. It might have been hard to hear her, but there is no difficulty hearing her at these rallies. And she's remarkable, again, whether you accept her point of view or not. And I think uh, other candidates, uh, particularly those on the left, might want to pay attention to the message because it resonates. Uh, and this goes way beyond just that Bernie Sanders crowd. Darletta Scruggs is her name, the student march organizer, among other things. Darletta, very good to have you. Hi, Neil. Thanks for having me on. Um, you're into this because you say that conventional politicians have forgotten this, forgotten these causes, and you include Hillary Clinton in that group. Why? I mean, I think Hillary Clinton is the perfect representation of what corporate politicians stand for. She's a candidate of Walmart, Wall Street, and war. Um, and politicians like Hillary don't prioritize uh, things like education, uh, quality education, affordable education, which is why I participated in this Million Student March, because what we are seeing is a crisis where millions of students are being faced with the question of debt and how they're going to pay for education. Um, I myself being one of those young, young people that uh, don't know what to do around the question of going to college, uh, receiving a degree. And I'm told as a young person that that is a requirement in order to get a good job, in order to have a quality life, but yet it's become so inaccessible for a large majority of, of young students. So you think the government should pay for that? I think the government needs to uh, reassess its priorities, right? We prioritize a lot of things, but education doesn't seem to be one of them. For example, um, we just found out that the U.S. is launching a new initiative to upgrade its nuclear arsenal. That's going to cost uh, $1 trillion over the next three decades. Uh, if there's $1 trillion to invest in nuclear weapons, there, there certainly is money to invest in education. Why do we prioritize war and nuclear weapons over education and justify having millions of students go into debt seeking a, a quality education. Now you raise a good point, but Darlotti, to think about it, we could prioritize all we want on things we want to do, but we don't have the money, right? We're running a 19 plus trillion dollar debt. So what do you say to that? Well, that's always the excuse that is often being told, right? We don't have the money for anything. I say that our country really lacks creativity and the will. But what's being sold to me as a young person is this dream that if I go to college, if I seek an education, if I work hard, then I have the opportunities uh, to advance in life. But what the system has shown us, and particularly this system of capitalism, is that this system cannot produce any substantial quality of life, no matter how how hard you work. We are seeing poverty. One third of U.S. households cannot afford basic necessities like rent, food, and transportation. This is a problem. We are seeing one million students last year alone default on their student loans. $176 million were garnished from working people wages to pay, to pay back student loan debts. So if this system doesn't have the money to provide for housing, food, shelter, and education, then maybe we need a new system because it isn't working. All right, so let's say you do get a new system, uh, Darlette, and the, the idea that let's say we pay for college for everybody. Then wouldn't those colleges, knowing that Uncle Sam or whomever is picking up the tab, wouldn't they just keep ratcheting up the price of college? 
Yeah, we've seen the price of college already be ratcheted up. Over a thousand percent, we've seen increases right. in college tuitions. But it also goes back into priorities because in the U.S., you have 11 states that spend more money on prisons than they do public education. So where are our priorities? And one of the demands in Million Student March that has been added is a divestment for private prisons. The prison industry has been a boom. It's been a large investment because it's more profitable to funnel people into prisons, particularly black youth and black young people, than it is to provide quality and accessible education. We need to really question the society that would rather have most of its population in prison and jail cells than in classes receiving quality education.